Infant mortality is proving to be a persistent issue in Shawnee County. Today, the Board of Health heard from its partners about why that is and how they're working to curb it. 13's Callie Holthouse is here tonight with details. Callie. Yeah, Melissa, the Shawnee County Board of Health today reviewed its community health needs assessment from 2021. It identified health equity as a priority. Today, they discussed why it remains top of the list. Kansas Department of Health and Environment's 2021 Community Needs Assessment found two groups in Shawnee County where moms and babies are most at risk. And that is our black African American population and our Hispanic population in our community. They are nearly three times higher than their white counterparts in infant mortality. Shawnee County is also home to another notable data point. We have the zip code with the highest infant mortality rate, which is, happens to be our 66604. As a health department, it's a very sobering statistic, and I think it's, and it of course is concerning. And I think that's why it's vitally important that we are uh, working with the partners that are that are active in those communities, in those neighborhoods, um, and really helping spread the awareness. The Shawnee County Health Department and its partners are exploring ways to decrease the infant mortality rate. Craig Barnes says the Fetal Infant Mortality Review Board is a major part of the conversation. It operates as uh, a, an advisory council that looks at the infant deaths in our community and then from that uh, looks at developing recommendations that our community can act on. The health department promotes prenatal, perinatal, and postnatal health with programs like its Baby Basics class and Community Baby Shower. Increase the availability of educational resources, raising awareness of what, uh, how to have a safe pregnancy how to have, uh, when you're thinking about becoming pregnant, things that you can do to increase uh, the potential for a safe pregnancy. Our team is actively boots on the ground in these areas, trying to assist where they can um, and trying to understand too, what are some of the barriers? What are the gaps? What are the needs in our community that will help us address these issues? The Board of Health is preparing to conduct its community health needs assessment and will meet again in spring 2024.